Hi, this is Dr. Haig. In this video, I'm going to go over question one from the free response part of the 2016 AP Chemistry exam. Now the question says, a student investigates the enthalpy of solution, delta H solution, for two alkali metal halides, lithium chloride and sodium chloride. In addition to the salts, the student has access to a calorie meter a balance with a precision of plus or minus 0.1 gram and a thermometer with a precision of plus or minus 0.1 degrees Celsius. To measure delta H solution for lithium chloride, the student adds 100 grams of water initially at 15.0 degrees Celsius to a calorie meter and adds 10.0 grams of lithium chloride solid stirring to dissolve. After the lithium chloride dissolves completely, the maximum temperature reached by the solution is 35.6 degree Celsius. The question is, calculate the magnitude of the heat absorbed by the solution, or actually the heat released by the system, during the dissolution process, assuming that the specific heat capacity of the solution is 4.18 joules per gram degree Celsius include units with your answer. Now the heat absorbed by the solution or the heat released by the system can be calculated by Q equals to M times C times delta T where Q is the heat released or heat absorbed by the solution. M is the mass of the solution and in this case it's going to be equal to 100 grams of water plus 10.0 grams of lithium chloride. C is given and it's the specific heat capacity of the solution 4.18 joules per gram degree Celsius. Delta T can be calculated uh, from the difference of the in final temperature minus the initial temperature. So in this case it's going to be equal to 35.6 minus 15.0. Now replacing MC and delta T by their values, we get 110.0 grams multiplied by 4.18 joule per gram degree Celsius multiplied by 35.6 minus 15 degree Celsius and canceling the units. So now we have gram cancels with gram, degree Celsius cancels with degree Celsius and the answer will be 9470 joules or we can give the answer in here in kilojoules, so it's 9.47 kilojoules. Now let's move to the next question, which is determine the value of the delta H solution for lithium chloride in kilojoule per mole reaction. Now for this, to find delta H solution from the heat released or absorbed, we can say delta H solution is equal to the absolute value of the heat divided by the number of moles. Now the number of mole can be calculated from the expression mass over molar mass. So in this case we have 10.0 grams of uh, lithium chloride and the molar mass of lithium chloride is equal to 42.39 rams per mole. And this is going to be equal to 0.236 mole of lithium chloride. Now one word here about significant figures. 10.0 is uh, three significant figures and 42.39 is four significant figures. So when we divide three significant figures by four significant figures, the answer should be in three significant figures. So now we have 0 0.236, which is also three significant figures. Now that we have the number of moles, so we can divide the heat that we obtained in the previous part, which is 9.47 kilojoule, by the number of mole which is 0 0.236 mole. So the answer is going to be equal to 40.1 kilojoule per mole. Now remember that we have used the absolute value of the heat. Now since the temperature is increasing, so we know that energy is released. And since energy is released, the reaction is exothermic. And for exothermic reactions, delta H uh, sign is going to be negative. So the final answer that we have to report is delta H solution equals to minus 40.1 kilojoule per mole reaction. Now let's move on to the next part 
To explain why Delta H solution for NACL is different than that for LICL, the student investigates factors that affect Delta H solution and finds that ionic radius and lattice enthalpy, which can be defined as the Delta H associated with the separation of a solid crystal into gaseous ions, contribute to the process. The student consults references and collects the data shown in the table below. Now in this table I have ions and I have the ionic radius in picometer. Now for lithium I can see that I have 76 picometer. For sodium I have 102 picometer. The question says, write the complete electron configuration for the sodium ion in the ground state. Now it's important to remember here that sodium has 11 electrons. When sodium ion forms, sodium will lose one electron and the remaining number of electrons is 10 electrons. Therefore, the electron configuration is going to be 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, which is only 10 electrons. Let's move on to the next question now. The question says, Using principles of atomic structure, explain why sodium ion is larger than lithium ion. Now the answer is, the valence electrons in sodium ion are in higher principal energy level than the valence electrons in lithium ion. So electrons in higher principal energy levels are on average further from the nucleus. As you can see, the valence electrons in sodium ion are on the energy level n equal to However, the valence electrons from lithium ion are on the energy level n equal to 1. So this is going to increase the size of sodium ion compared to that of lithium ion. Now let's move on to the next question. The question says, which salt, lithium chloride or sodium chloride, has the greater lattice enthalpy? Justify your answer. Now, the answer is lithium chloride. And the reason, because the lithium ion is smaller than sodium ion. Now, if we take a look on the Columbic attractions expression, which is F proportional to Q1 times Q2 over R squared. Now, Q1 and Q2 are the charges of the cation and the anion. Since in this case, the charges Q1 and Q2 are the same in the case of lithium chloride and sodium chloride. So what really determines the difference in the Coulombic attractions or the Coulombic forces is the R. Now when R decreases, the force will increase. Since R is small for lithium chloride compared to that of sodium chloride, so lithium chloride will have stronger lattice enthalpy or greater lattice enthalpy. Let's move on now to the question E where it says below is a representation of a portion of a crystal of lithium chloride. Identify the ions in the representation by writing the appropriate formulas lithium plus or chloride Cl minus in the boxes below. Now in general we know that cations are smaller in sizes than their corresponding elements and anions are larger in sizes than their corresponding elements. So we can expect that the black spheres will be the lithium and the gray spheres will be the chloride. Let's move on now to the final part of this question. The lattice enthalpy of lithium chloride is positive indicating that it takes energy to break the ions apart in lithium chloride. However, the dissolution of lithium chloride in water is an exothermic process. Identify all particle-particle interactions that contribute significantly to the exothermic dissolution process being exothermic. For each interaction, include the particles that interact and the specific type of intermolecular force between those particles. Now, how can we answer this question? We can say that there are interactions between lithium ion and polar water molecules 
and between chloride ions and polar water molecules. Now, I added this representation to make it easy on you to imagine how the ions and the water molecule will interact. Now, this type of interaction is going to be called ion-dipole interaction. I hope this video is helpful to you, so please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.